Unfortunately, we're still not safe because they did cut hundreds of classes from the Peralta district this year. They fired teachers at the goal. This is really important. Today, we're having a speak out so that you can speak out. And Ismail is doing it. How are you doing, My name is Ismail Ishaq. See, I, I, was, I want to do this here um, at, the, at the rally in San Francisco. It's called No Cut to Education. Um, if y'all. Okay, go so like this. No. No cut to education. Can't you speak? They're destroying your nation. No. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Y'all got me. Y'all got to keep with me, man.
on public education, you know, I mean, I know for me, education was more than just wanting to learn. Education was my way out. Education was my lifeline, so I can hope to elevate myself and make more than I've had my whole life. And I know for a lot of us that are here at Community College, that's what education is. Education is your way up. And, you know, we depend on being able to afford to come, take classes. Most of us are working and supporting ourselves. A lot of people here are supporting families while we're in school. Um, and increasingly, we're seeing more and more being taken away from us. We're seeing more money taken away from our education, taken away from health care, public transportation being cut. They're cutting, you know, the bus lines, the BART lines. These are going up for everything. Um, and so, you know, we have to really look at this war that's being, like, this war that's happening to our lives, and we need to fight back. Um, our, what we're seeing today is a society of people that have, you know, we're being divided into the haves and the have not. More and more we're seeing the people that have it all and the people that have nothing at all. Um, how many of you are or know somewhere that's living, someone that's living on welfare? Raise your hand. Um, if you are and you know someone that's unemployed, uh, that's struggling to pay for their tuition, or that can't go to school because they can't pay for their tuition, uh, that works one or two jobs and barely has time to sleep, barely has time for their families, someone who's been harassed or killed by the cops, or who can't walk down the street in their neighborhood without worrying that it's going to happen. These are the realities of our life, and we live with them every day, and the time to fight back has come. We don't have anything more to lose. How much more of this attack on our lives are we going to take? In reality, we've become used to this. We've become used to waiting, you know, for two hours to get financial aid or to see the counselor, to, you know, having someone in our neighborhood get shot down and not hearing about it on the news because it wasn't caught on the cell phone camera. We do not need to get used to this violence that is inflicted on our lives every day. We are all Oscar Grant. We all feel this attack on our lives happening every day. We need to fight back. The only change that we've ever seen in history has come through struggle, has come through people coming together to organize and to build a movement. The time has come. We can't let them continue to cut education and all of our public sector and take more and more away from us. Um, and so I want to leave you with the words of Frederick Douglass when he fought to change the ways of a nation that was supported by slavery. And Frederick Douglass said, if there is no struggle, there is no progress. Those who profess to favor freedom and yet depreciate agitation want crops without plowing up the ground. They want rain without thunder and lightning. They want the ocean without the awful roar of its many waters. Power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did and it never will. If you want change, you need to fight for it. If you want money for our schools, food for our tables, health care for the people that are sick and dying in our communities, and peace in our neighborhoods, we need to fight for justice. Because when there's no justice, there can be no peace. This is not the way the world needs to be. But if we want to bring change about, we have to lift ourselves up and bring it about ourselves. So I hope that everyone is here and listening today, you, you know, we all have our own experiences. You should come up and speak and share um, and help us build this movement so we can really bring change about. Thank you. Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing? Well, um, I'm here. I'm a 45-year-old mother. I don't know about, um, yeah, yay for the marinated people. That's yeah. right. I don't know about you youngsters, but um, I'm here to better my life. Like she said, education will open doors to more money, to a better career, to knowledge that I didn't realize that was out there. You know, I thought not going to school, um, the knowledge that, that I had um, received from not going to school was going to get me through life. But being in school has opened my eyes, has empowered me, has given me something to live for, something to strive for, has given me goals. That's what education does. Education empowers us. It, 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 it fills our brain with information instead of the mundane things. It teaches us how to fight. So I'm asking that we all get together. We have to get together and fight. That's what we're here for. We're here to, to get our rights. Education is our right. It's not a privilege. It's not something that that we, we have to earn. I mean, we have to get in here, we have to learn, 
and pass them them seeds, those are seeds of knowledge, because our friends and family see us here. They see us coming every day, even though financial aid is, you know, not what it is, and the counselors, I mean, because of the cutbacks, it's going to get worse. You think that the line and not being able to get the classes is hard now? Just imagine. You know, so let's get together and let's fight and let's uh, voice uh, use our voice. That's what our voice is for, to get out there and let them know that we don't agree with it and we're not going to take it sitting down. We're going to get out there and do what we got to do. So let's please get together, pass the word around, tell our friends, you know. I know our friends, some of our friends may not want to hear it, but by us letting them know and by, us, by them seeing us, we're planting them seeds that hopefully they'll want to get out there and, and fight with us. Thank you.